What's up, everybody? This is uh, Battle from Steam. Uh, I'm down here at my brother, my twin brother's house, Rebel Duke, and today this is his saltwater reef tank. He has had this tank set up for about three years or a little over. Uh, this tank used to be beautiful when he had his corals in here. Uh, two years ago, he moved. We kept the same water and the rocks and the corals in a big container with his power head and a heater. Got everything put back in his 20 gallon tank uh, when we got to his new house. Uh, it was the first thing we moved. And the corals and everything did fine for the first couple of days. And then out of the blue the next day, all of his corals were dead. And for the past two years he's been talking about he's wanting to tear the tank down uh, and pretty much basically didn't have a drive to have a saltwater tank again because uh, he'd put a ton of money in this tank this is a 20 gallon tank and it took me two years to convince him not to tear it down uh, I had a 10 gallon nano tank uh, I had it up for about half a year. It crashed on me. Uh, I think the zoanthids I had in the tank got really stressed out. They died, released the uh, toxins that they have, and pretty much wiped out my tank. And I had gotten on a video chat with my brother, and we were talking about saltwater tanks, how we missed them. Uh, what we do different and the cool thing about this hobby is you'll never do the same thing twice uh, if you do then obviously you have no common sense you don't learn from the mistakes you do you don't do your research and there's a ton of videos on YouTube about saltwater tanks and in every video you can pretty much pick out something that uh, two Aquarius will disagree on and one person get one type of thing to grow for them with the lights they have the other person can have the same exact lights the same size tank and those corals will absolutely not grow so it's pretty cool to see different videos on YouTube uh, the only thing I don't like seeing about videos on YouTube is with saltwater tanks is where people try to I wouldn't say necessarily pressure you into buying the higher end stuff and bigger tanks. Yes, bigger tanks are nicer. You don't have quite as many crashes because of the water volume, which is really nice. Your little nano tanks, unless they're well established, well maintained and taken care of, they can crash and be gone before you even realize something has happened. And there's a lot of people that have all this high technology on their tanks, auto top off systems, and everything. And I mean, that, that's that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, that's good if you have that stuff. But to me, if you're not constantly looking at your tank, uh, making sure everything's working, I don't care how much money you have spent in equipment. To me, is it? It's not going to matter. If you don't, you know, take care of your tank and personally sit there and watch it for a few minutes every day to see what's going on, something can be happening that you don't know of because you don't look at your tank because you've spent all this money and equipment that pretty much does everything for you. So, I mean, do what, you know, do what you want to as far as equipment goes. There's a lot of tanks out there on YouTube where people don't have all the high-end stuff and they have some beautiful tanks. Uh, I think the key basically to having a successful tank is to take care of it, maintain it, you know, watch it, be involved with your tank. Uh, but anyway, uh, off that subject, uh, my brother has a damsel in here that I bought him as a surprise for his tank. Uh, and his name is Blue Bandit he's had this fish for three years and honestly you cannot kill this fish 
before we moved this out of his office and put it in his living room, his salinity was like a 1.090. It was basically a brackish water tank where he pretty much given up on the hobby. And uh, he would feed the fish, and that was pretty much about it. He didn't do nothing else. There was salt creep all over this side of the aquarium, the light fixture, the wall, everything else, because he'd pretty much had enough of the salt water business. And I come down over the weekend, helped him clean this tank up. He redid the rock formation, added some more rock. And all the empty shells he had from the cleanup crew, he threw into this 20-gallon tank. Because when he gets hermit crabs, they're going to need bigger shells. And there's no need throwing out your old shells when your, hermit, your new hermit crabs need newer shells. You ain't got to worry about not having them, not finding them. You've already got them from your old shells. So he left them in here. His old frag plugs that had the corals that died on them. He's left them in here. Uh, some of the coral frag plugs have uh, coralline algae on it. And I know some people would, you know, basically throw those frag plugs out, take the frags, the uh, old dead frags off of them. But he's left them in here for the coralline algae and for the, uh, the old dead corals that are on there so beneficial bacteria can grow on them. He can add new corals to them and just make the stuff look more natural than just removing your dead corals but uh we went to a local pet uh pet store and picked up this candy cane coral my phone ain't doing this uh coral justice and he also got this maize brain coral that he's been wanting for the past three years but Never got it because he'd pretty much given up on this tank. But, uh, yeah, this is his 20-gallon tank. Uh, in the future, there will be a couple of more episodes on this tank uh, where he puts in his cleanup crew. He adds more corals, uh, adds more fish, but that's going to come at a later date. Uh, there's no time thing set for those videos, so just turn on that notification thing if you want to see updates. Uh, and know when they're when they come up if not then you know that's that's no big deal do what you want to uh, but this 20 gallon tank is right now is his main reef tank uh, in the future he is planning on getting a much bigger tank which this 20 gallon tank then would still be like it's set up now but this will be his quarantine tank his uh, frag tank so this tank will not be going away. He's going to keep this and pretty much either the tank breaks or something dramatic happens and he has to get rid of it. But he is planning on getting a bigger tank, which I'm excited about, just so I can come down and help him set the rocks up and put the sand in it. Uh, he's a coral addict, so there's going to be a lot of corals, from your soft corals to your LPSs to your SPSs and i'm pretty sure he's gonna do some crazy stuff like that uh but thanks for tuning in and watching please rate this video give it a thumbs up thumbs down comment down below i'm pretty sure my brother would be more than happy to answer your comments because usually he's good about that uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe he's got a bunch of content on his, uh, his youtube channel there's going to be some cooking videos to come out. We've talked about that. Uh, we've talked about doing some hunting videos, some reviews on some stuff that we take out into the field when we go hunting for small game. Uh, there's going to be some tank updates. We're in the process of trying to get together some video footage for Armor 2. I know it's an old game and there's a lot of content already out on it, but it's something we've always talked about doing, but we never did. So we're going to eventually get around to that, and it should be coming out soon, within like the next week or so. But I just wanted to do a video on a saltwater tank for y'all. Uh, his freshwater tanks aren't like they used to be. Uh, his fish got old. 
they pretty much died and he's kind of getting away from fresh water he's hooked on salt water and that's pretty much where his tanks are going to stay at he still has his 55 gallon planted tank uh, using the wall uh, the wall stead method it's crammed full of guppies that he sadistically feeds to his angelfish in his 56 planted wall stead method tank uh, but yeah this is just a new update from rebel duke and uh, I'm proud to be bringing it to you guys y'all take care have fun god bless y'all be safe out there